What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. Well, I'm over here looking at boxing, y'all. Y'all know how it is. So, uh, Lanier Perro versus Victor Faust. Now, let me tell y'all straight up. At the, I, I got to get straight to it. At the end of that fight, I thought it was a low blow, <laughs> but it wasn't. But that's all I'm going to say on that part for now. But I didn't know what Perot was thinking about, B. I'm like, yo, he's looking for one shot. He's looking for one shot. What happened to the boxing? And then he said all this stuff about he, you know, in in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, not in the conference, but I had read where he had said that he's here to put on the show to show that PBC didn't make no mistakes. And I'm paraphrasing. But, uh, Victor Faust was controlling that fight from the beginning. He kept... Now, I'm going to tell you what, what I seen Victor Faust doing, which worked for a little while. He kept throwing his jab out. Not a hard jab, but he kept throwing a jab out. Like, his his, his left jab, he kept throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, throwing it. Not, not pity pat, but enough to keep you, you know, keeping your guards up. And he did that for about a good eight rounds. And every time he found an opening, he popped your boy. You know what I'm saying? He popped your boy, Perro. So, boom, Perro, I think it was the third or the fourth round. Perro was trying to punch from too far away. You know what I'm saying? He's a lefty. And, you know, a lot of people have a problem with southpaws. So, boom, he threw a punch from a long way. And your boy, um, 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 Faust, Caught him with a right hand, wobbled him good at the end of the round. So I'm like, yo, from that point on, Perot had took a different, um, a, a, a different stance on how he was coming in. He was more careful at that point. His guard was up a lot because of that jab that just kept coming out. Because what Faust did was when he just kept the jab there, he just kept the jab there. And if if you and when like if you tried to throw a punch or something here, one two you real quick, real fast. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, bro. You know, I mean, it don't, it, he wasn't moving, no head movement, no nothing, just jab, jab. But he's a big dude. So all of a sudden, I believe it was the eighth round come around, and the one thing I gotta give um, Perot some props to is that he kept throwing body shots, but not enough of them. But he kept throwing them, and apparently it was enough because it was a body shot. It was a left body shot. My bad, it was a right body shot that he had caught um, Faust with. Caught him, and Faust, I thought it was, that's why I thought it was a low blow, because Faust had went, he went like this, and he turned his face. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and your boy, um, 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 Perot caught him with a straight right. And I was like, oh, yo, what? I'm like, damn, that had to be a low blow. That had to be a low blow, because it was down towards the body. You couldn't really see, but then... When you see the replay and you see dude gut get hit and his gut just deformed and whatnot. Oh yeah, that was body shot, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't think he really expected it. You know what I'm saying? Cause he kept throwing that jab out, that jab out, that jab out. And when he threw that jab out, and your boy, your boy got low, your boy your boy Perot got low to the ground and caught that right up in there and then caught him in the face. Man, he went, he turned, and then I thought, I thought he had got thumbed in the eye. I don't know what they said right about now. They probably saying something, but I thought he had got caught with a low blow and maybe not thumbed, but scraped across the eye because of how he turned his face and his whole body. But then he, um, he made a gesture with his glove and kind of went towards his, you know, towards his kidney area. So I'm thinking he probably got, it probably was that that got him. You know what I'm saying? And then maybe, maybe a little scrape with the glove, you know, across the eye. But either way, if you don't see it coming, it may feel like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, Perot got the fight. You know, I, I, I really think that if he's going to fight tall guys like that, he need to develop a style of getting in. Because from my understanding, according to what the commentators were saying, that that's his style. He has an inside style. He fights inside. Gets and it mixes mix it up with you. With this guy, he wasn't doing that. With this guy, he was looking for one punch. And you could clearly see that he was looking for one punch. You know what I'm saying? OMB signing out. Peace.